Oh, we, this is Hulk, the end. This is a one-shot graphic novel thingy. Can we admire the condition of this? This is in remarkably good condition for a comic that I got January 2003 when I was on holiday at Butlands. I was 12. I got this when I was 12. I'm 30 now and it's still in a really good state, all things considered. This one shot is known for being exceptionally rare. Marvel printed far too few copies and for whatever reason, even though there was high demand for it, they never did a second printing. So copies of this original issue are very scarce. They tend to gain for a lot of money. Most people have read this though. Marvel have since reprinted it a dozen times in trade paperbacks and compilations and stuff like that. This is actually adapted from a prose piece. This is by David Peter and he wrote a prose piece a decade before this comic. And the comic is just like an update of that but with some more visually dynamic sequences injected. The idea is that this is the last days of Hulk. David Banner is the last person alive on Earth. Everyone else has done a die. Everyone and everything else is gone. And now he walks the world alone, unable to die because it seems Hulk is immortal. So Ea is Hulk. Hulk comes out and roams the wastelands. And he hates the David Banner side just as much as David Banner hates him. The two sides are at conflict. Even in this scenario where they are the last two people on Earth. David Banner, he just wants to die but Hulk won't let him. And Hulk wants to be left alone. But David Banner is always still there. We didn't get too much into Hulk. This is definitely more weighted towards the David Banner stuff. It's not an ideal comic to review because it is an introspective prose piece. Now with art and also an added sequence with some cockroaches to offer a little bit of action. David Banner, he's like 200 years old now. He is by himself just wandering the world alone. He is ancient. He wants to die, but it's like... Hulk won't let him. Nice visual there, showing some of the different versions of Hulk over the years. So David Banner, he is an odd, odd man. And he doesn't need to eat or drink anymore. Hulk is able to absorb radiation, energy or something like that. And there is a reference to Master Hulk from Future in Prefect, which 12 year art me didn't get. Uh, he also has this like little robot sidekick thing, except it's just like a camera thing that follows him around and doesn't speak. He talks to it sometimes, but mainly just so that he doesn't gun mad. It is 
a narrative construct that I imagine was not in the prose piece. Something else that wasn't in the original story, the cockroaches. These were added just for the comic. I remember David Peter said so in an introduction at the start of a trade paperback collection. The original piece, it was all just the David Banner monologue, I think. Other than David Banner and Alk, the cockroaches are the last surviving species on Earth. And they have evolved and mutated. And they are like carnivorous monsters now. And they routinely attempt to devour David Banner. But whenever they try, he transforms into Alk. And what follows are long, bloody battles with them trying to eat Alk and Phelan. And Alk fighting them until the cockroaches get bored and give up. And here is the Alk after the recent skirmish with the bugs. If I had to choose one word to describe this story, it would be depressing. If I had to choose two words to describe it, I'd gone for fucking depressing. At the age of 12, this made me consider jumping from a balcony to my death for 30 minutes after reading it. Depressing works for Hulk, but I think this is too fatalistic. This is too grim and miserable. While it is a technically good and intelligent piece of writing, I think there's little to no joy to be squeezed from it. I don't think there's much entertainment to be had. It's like the gloomy Sunday of comic books. Probably a good song to accompany reading this, actually. I'm not going to give away the ending. The ending is both good and also shit. It's good because it is good and it is shit because it is utterly depressing. I'm not kidding or exaggerating. This isn't like a bit. This honestly made 12 year old me suicidal. It made me question life and our species. And it also terrified us that I would be a hopeless ad man who is falling apart like David Banner in a world all alone. Little did 12 yard me now that I would fast track to become David Banner in this story by the age of 30. I'm alone all the time now. I just want to die. And I talk into a computer every day so that I didn't forget how to talk. But at least I have a cat. Seven thumbs up.